What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we're going to be taking apart and cleaning a Sig Sauer P365. So the first thing we want to do is make sure it is clear and safe to work on. So right behind the trigger here is the mag release. You want to press that, cause the magazine to pop out. You don't want any cleaners, solvents, or lubricants on this, so keep this far away from your cleaning station until you're done. Next, this switch right here is your slide release or slide lock. So when you pull the slide all the way back you will then push the slide lock up and it will lock the slide into place. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that you've got it locked open we can look down inside the barrel there and see there is nothing in the chamber. So to take it apart you can actually just leave it uh, open like this and the lever that's right next to it just folds down. all the way just like that okay and then when you uncock it it should slide all the way off no pulling the trigger no nothing no nothing extra okay so we've got the frame here all right we need to remove the guide rod this piece right here so from the back end you want to compress it so it release and then you just pull it up so compress pull it up and it should now be loose to just slide out. The barrel is the same way. So you just kind of push it forward and pull it out from the back. Okay? And then you've got the slide. And these will be the pieces that we are cleaning today. I'm going to go ahead and take my gun cleaner and give everything a quick spray down. Give it a chance to soak here So while that's soaking for a moment, let me explain the tools I've got sitting here. I've got soft bristle brush. Um, it's got a little detail in on the end of it to help get in the smaller areas. I've got a stiffer nylon bristle brush to get the real stubborn carbon off. I don't tend to use the uh, metal or steel or brass brushes because I don't want to take the chance on scratching anything or you know peeling off the bluing. Uh, so, but if you got a good cleaner, um, the nylon brushes are more than sufficient. Cleaner, um, this is up to everybody's own preference and opinion. So I, I suggest you try them out, see which one you like best. Got a uh, nine millimeter barrel brush. This is meant to clean the inside of the barrel. Got a nine millimeter jag. Uh, this will help finish cleaning out the inside of the barrel. We don't need any of these tools up here uh, that are not necessary for this gun. Uh, I've got gun oil. I've got a little gun oil rag that I use to uh, oil the entire gun. It's not contaminated with any cleaners or, or anything else. We've got patches. Q-tips come in handy. And a couple rags here to uh, wipe stuff off as we go. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the barrel because that's kind of the one thing that matters on how you do it. So grab it, grab your barrel brush, and then you want to put it in the back. And yes, that means two things. And then make sure you cram it all the way through. Okay? And then come back all the way through. The reason why we don't go in from the, the muzzle end is because we don't want to chip ding or damage anything on on the barrel it'll cause accuracy issues and other problems so we're trying to prevent that so make sure you've got a rod long enough to go all the way through and just start scrubbing okay and it might feel gritty at first that's okay you're just trying to break all that grit up and it should start smoothening out You'll feel it get a little easier. There we go. Starting to get easier. And, uh, you know, you're breaking up all that carbon and anything else that's in there. 
And once you feel you've gotten it about as smooth as it gets, because like I said, you're just breaking it up. We'll grab our nylon brush and start going over the rest of it. And just go over it all. You know, you don't want anything left on this. Get the feeding ramp real good. Any little crevice you can, get it. Get the muzzle in real good. And once you've gotten all that pretty well scrubbed, we'll take our rag and we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the exterior of it get all the crud you just brushed off completely off getting all the crevices real good okay now we're going to finish cleaning out the inside of the barrel grab your jag grab a patch stab it right in the center and then again putting it in from the back you want to push it all the way through and we see all that black stuff there that's what we're trying to remove so keep doing this until you don't see any more black on your patches and uh, you'll know you've gotten all the carbon out of the inside of the barrel wow second swipe that looks real good I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure and put it in the back cram it all the way through and I really don't see any black on here it might look a little gray or wet that's okay we're just trying to remove all the black so we're going to count the barrel as done let's go ahead and knock out the guide rod here kind of a small part just want to kind of get in the springs there and make sure there's no crud or anything left on it get the ends real good and then we'll grab our rag and wipe it off real well guide rod is done let's move on to the slide grab your brush and um, I keep the muzzle end down uh, to try and prevent you know solvent and stuff going in in the where the firing pin goes but you want to get everywhere you can slide rails real good Now you can get the breech face, but keep it kind of facing downward so it's not wanting to really pull up in there. And anywhere else that looks dirty, we want to make sure we get scrubbed down. Get around the extractor real good. Once you got that scrubbed down, we can go ahead, take a rag, start wiping everything down, remove all the crud, all the cleaner, make sure everything 
is removed. Now there are some spots here that are kind of hard to get with the rag. So what we'll do is we'll go through it with a Q-tip to really dig into those small areas. Alright, let's grab a Q-tip. I like to definitely hit the slide rails. That's kind of a small area to get with a rag, so scrub those down real good. Get down in the slide here. Make sure you get all that crud off. And we'll get down in those little areas that are kind of hard to get with a rag. Just make sure we get all the cleaner, all the crud. Hit the holes real good. Alright. The slide is done. Let's move on to the frame. Basically just get everywhere you can. The idea is to remove all carbon and dirt. Go over the rest of it, get around the trigger and the trigger guard. the magwell and stuff too. Just make sure everything's clean. Alright, once you've gotten all that scrubbed down, we can go ahead and start wiping everything down. Again, you may not be able to get some areas with the rag, but that's okay. We'll use some Q-tips to get down in these smaller areas. We're just trying to get the bulk of it off. There we go. Let's grab a Q-tip. Let's get the slide rails real good. We don't want anything to prevent it from cycling. Let's get down here. In these little areas that are kind of hard to get. Get around the mag release button real well. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Time for some lube. So I'm going to grab my little, uh, Gun oil rag, 
pour a little bit of gun oil on it and now we'll start with the frame uh, basically you're looking for areas that have scratches scrapes rub marks um, those are the areas that have major contact and we want to make sure that we get uh, oil put on those so it will move freely when it's cycling and uh, so just anywhere you see rub marks uh, you want to uh, add some oil and uh, we don't want to cover everything uh, with with oil because it, it attracts dirt and dust real easy and uh, we don't need it to uh, j collect dirt and jam up the gun so everywhere you see and call that oiled alright let's move on to the slide same thing again we're looking for scratches scrapes there's a good scrape there that's from the barrel um, the, anything that you see that looks like it's kind of rubbing on anything let's make sure we get some oil put on it okay go there throw a little there throw a little there up here where the barrel rubs and again we don't want to cover the whole thing with oil and I'm also not going to put any uh, where the extractor goes because that's an exposed part we don't need dirt and stuff building up there the barrel same thing again pretty much you can do the entire thing um, it's just, it's not gonna hurt it it's just gonna get uh, it's an internal part so it all needs to be kind of lubed to uh, move freely and easily okay the guide rod it's not entirely necessary to do it but it's not going to hurt it uh, i just try to kind of get it in there between the springs uh so it'll the the rod itself will move freely on the spring and we have finished lubing all the parts all right let's put things back together all right so let's take our frame here for a second now while cleaning this if you have happened to have accidentally locked the the slide lock back from bumping it okay this is not going to allow you to put the slide back on so let's go ahead and prep this and uh as you can tell it's not wanting to go all the way down to fix that you need to push up the slide lock and then it will allow you to pull the switch back forward so you need this in this position to put the slide back on okay let's reassemble the slide I've got the muzzle end here to my left okay grab your barrel and looking at the barrel here you'll see a little half moon cutout right here remember that because that is where your guide rod is going to sit okay so with that half moon facing up towards you you're going to insert the barrel into the barrel hole drop it and then push it straight back and it will seat itself should look just like this all right now we're going to take our guide rod you've got one end from the the bigger end here is going to go towards the muzzle end the smaller end with the smaller spring side of it this is what's going to fit in that little half moon cutout so put the bigger end right below the barrel here and now you'll need to compress it to set it into that little cutout on the barrel see that this is what it should look like now we can take our frame and you'll see there's two little notches here those line up with the two little rails right here and you slide it on cock it back and as soon as I raise the uh, the slide lock on it 
it latched back into its locked position. So now it should be on. Everything seems to be moving. Let's do a quick function check. To do that, you cock it, you pull the trigger and hold it. You now cock it again. You now release the trigger. You should hear it click. And then it should allow you to fire again. Everything seems to be functional. So last thing we need to do here is a final wipe down. Grab a clean rag here and go over everything. This is your time to make it shine. Really polish it up and get every bit of excess oil or solvent or anything that you happen to see left on here. Get everything you can. All right. And we have just now successfully cleaned, taken apart, lubed, and reassembled a Sig Sauer P365. If you made it this far in the video, please subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them in the comment section below. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun. It's the four hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace. After completing the course, you can print your certificate. Then it'll help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at reverendguns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.